Hey guys, it's Matt with Meat Church and welcome back to our summer grilling series. Well today, I'm gonna make you guys something I've been wanting to do for a long time, birria tacos. <laughs> Stick around. We've had a ton of fun shooting all these uh, summer grilling series videos out here at the lake. And I gotta tell you, we have tried to shoot this video on three different days and due to rain, uh, it's been you know kicked down the road. So we came out here today just to shoot this video. And as soon as we started to go live, the bottom dropped out of the sky and put the mill scale out. But we're back and here we go. So we're gonna try to do this in one take. But this is the one that I'm most excited about. We've got our beautiful mill scale open fire grill out here. You can cook this on any kind of grill, but we thought this would be a lot of fun and nothing better than to cook birria tacos on this mill scale. So what do we need to do? Well, first off, traditionally, uh, birria tacos are made with goat or sheep. So for all of you that are gonna come and tell me that, I don't see any goats out here, so we're not going that direction today. We're gonna do our take on it. We're gonna go beef. So you can do a lot of things. You could do beef cheek, you could do chuck roast, um, you could do oxtails. So we've smoked some beef cheeks today. And this part is not real hard. We trimmed up some beef cheeks, seasoned them with our fajita seasoning. Um, and we cooked them for about two hours at 250. You're just trying to get some smoke on them. So that part's not that important. If you're doing chuck roast, whatever, just get some smoke on it. You know, cook them for two or three hours uh, because we're gonna braise them and that's where they're really gonna get cooked. So I'm gonna put these in a Dutch oven go and then the next thing that we're gonna do is we've got to make an adobo so here's what we did I made it in advance so I'm gonna tell you what we did we took three guajillo chilies three ancho chilies dried uh, we got the stems and seeds out and we sauteed them until they were nice and toasty and we set them in the blender then in that same pan uh, we sauteed uh, one diced onion, uh, we put four Roma tomatoes in there, uh, we put some garlic and some, and we, we cooked that down, then we put it in here as well. Uh, we added two cups of beef stock, uh, we added our seasoning, and we blended it until it was smooth. And so that's what we have here. If you didn't catch all that, it's below in the description, it's also on the recipe on meatchurch.com. So here's what we're gonna wanna do with it. I'm gonna pour some in this Dutch oven to braise. So you don't have to cover this, but we just wanna put, you know, half inch in here or so, just a braising liquid. And then we're gonna preserve some because we're gonna dip our tortillas in this when we build our tacos here in just a little bit. So we'll set this aside. So I'm gonna cover this up. Now, depending on what you're cooking on, you could take this Dutch oven, you could put it in your smoker, you could put it in a pellet grill, um, you could have put this in a, uh, a slow cooker. Um, we're actually gonna hang it on our mill scale open fire grill because that's a lot more fun. I'm gonna grab a glove here. And you need to simmer this, or braise it. You know, if you're putting it in a smoker, 250 degrees for five hours, a lot of latitude with this. If you guys have checked out our barbacoa video, we actually smoked the cheeks and we braised them overnight at like 210 degrees in our Traeger. Uh, so you could, this is something you could let ride overnight. The next day you could just build your tacos and be done. But you need four or five hours. You gotta make them fork tender. You want this stuff to fall apart. So we're gonna hang it here. We've got our log burner running, producing coals. Um, you can also supplement with some lump charcoal. And we've got a really warm fire going here. And we've got plancha here to build our tacos. Um, this is nice and warm. And so rather than make you guys wait five or six hours, uh, we've actually got another setup um, of, with barbacoa that we've been braising, honestly, most of the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. And I'll show you this real quick, but inside of here, whoo, that is hot. So we've actually shredded the cheeks and it's in the adobo and it's been simmering in this all day. So that's what we're gonna build our tacos with. But let's go ahead and take some of that adobo mixture and pour it in a pan because we want to be able to dip our, whoo, dip our tortillas in it. And we're gonna start building tacos. 
So what I've got today are some of my favorite tortillas. I got these from my local HEB. They're actually butter tortillas. They are flour. Use your favorite. You can use corn if you want. I kind of like flour in this because they're a little more pliable. Uh, and you can see this liquid is warm. But let me put a little oil on my plancha. And that is really, really hot. As you can hear, and this is a simple process. You're gonna dip these tortillas. This just adds a flavor element. And we're gonna griddle them on one side. Woo, that is hot. And then I'm gonna build some tacos here. I'm gonna put some of this shredded barbacoa on here. We're using some shredded Mexican mozzarella, some Oaxaca cheese. Use your favorite. You could also use cotija. So let me turn this where you can see it. We're just gonna build tacos. Let that cheese melt in there, and you know that's gonna be good. I wish you guys could smell this right here. I don't want these to stick, so over we go. They're gonna be messy, and that means they're gonna taste delicious. So we're just gonna go about a minute aside on these or so. Um, I'm gonna build quite a few of these. I can't wait to eat these. We haven't eaten all day. Like I said, this is the video I've been looking most forward to. Uh, so we're going to just keep building these tacos. We're going to garnish them. I'll see you guys back at the butcher block in a minute, and it's going to be time to eat. All right, guys, we've built quite a few of these birria tacos, and I'm telling you, they smell amazing. So I'm ready to eat. I don't know about y'all, but here we go. I'm going to go down here for this one because I like all this extra cheese. And we've preserved some more of the uh, adobo sauce. Put a little cilantro in here. And, you know, let's keep building that flavor and give it a little dip. Nobody's watching. I can double dip if I want. Mm. I ain't mad at that. Man. That is so, so, so good. Right, the fajita seasoning is a great seasoning for the barbacoa. We normally use our holy cow, but that fajita, the salt, Cooking that adobo, all the cheese on there and griddled here on the mill scale. Man, y'all gotta make these, not cheese. I'm a cheese fan, so extra cheese is the way to go. Well, hey, we appreciate you guys tuning in and watching this video. If you like this, please like and subscribe to our channel. We drop a weekly how-to cooking video every Wednesday at noon central. And next week, we're headed back home to the Meat Church Live Fire Kitchen where we're, go we're gonna make you guys some delicious tri-tips. So we hope to see you guys there back in Waxahachie. See y'all next week.